as they say, there's a lot of income of uh, to, uh, new tourists coming into the country. Once we open the, the country, there's a lot of people who wants to travel to Sri Lanka. Sure. And that market has not died down. What is, what, what is your take on the tourism industry and what exactly do you think, when we, I mean, what, what's the path we need to take? Because COVID has given an, uh, us an opportunity last time when you were here also, we mm -hmm. spoke about this, uh, to restructure it a little bit, not to do the same old things what we've been doing prior in the tourism mm -hmm. industry mm -hmm. and maybe take this opportunity to revive it in a manner mm -hmm. that we always wanted to mm -hmm. do it. What mm -hmm. is your take on that? Yeah, uh, so obviously, uh, tourism industry is a growing industry across the world and uh, people are very thirsty of, of uh, travel. Uh, 1.4 billion people travel across the world uh, in a good year. 1.4 billion, right? That's a large mm -hmm. number of which we have gotten only 2.3. That's the highest we've achieved and that, 2 .3 that's 2.3 million. million tourists, right? And that was achieved in uh, 2018. And in uh, 2019, um, I was uh, obviously, you know, pried in the leadership and uh, sadly the East attack, you know, yeah. took place. Uh, but even with that, uh, we managed to, uh, you know, go up to 4 billion. And when we did 2.3, uh, our revenue was $4.3 billion. Uh, with uh, 1.9 million tourists, we did $3.9 billion, right? Um, so that's, that was tremendous recovery and obviously, in 2020 with COVID, uh, you know, uh, haunting okay. the world, the numbers went down, uh, you know, to almost zero level. And uh, 2021, especially during the latter part, you know, there has been recovery, which is good. What we have to understand is that every economy in the world is focusing yeah. on tourism. It's not, you know, uh, poor countries, it's not just Asian countries, it's not just Sri Lanka. We know US is, is you know, doing their best to try and increase the numbers. UK. Italy, France, uh, you look at you know, all these big countries, big economies, uh, there is a sizable contribution of economic value being created out of tourism. So they are all focusing on it. Uh, is it is it new because of COVID or they've been doing that for something? They've been doing that for a quite a long time. But as uh, we spoke of, you know, uh, a while ago during the first segment, every economy is trying to revive. You know, they're looking at, you know, uh, recovering from the shock they have had. I mean, we are, let's say, a poor country and we have different issues. But, uh, you know, they have had uh, their, their piece of, uh, you know, issues uh, as, as well. And we have seen queues, so, you know, uh, of course, you know, here queue would be people standing, but their queue is, is a line of, you know, vehicles, sometimes, you know, very luxury vehicles. But, uh, you know, how, how can we explain that? That is also, you know, mm. a, a kind of nature of poverty. So every single, you know, country had to go through that. Uh, so obviously, uh, with uh, the entire world, uh, you know, coming to terms with COVID doesn't mean that, you know, COVID will be over during mm. 2022. Let's hope that it will be over. But it might but remain, you know, it's you know, not, it's, it's not uh, going to be the reality. So it might remain, you know, right through all the year. But uh, that's uh, not a barrier to, to perform, right, as, as economies and as countries and as individuals and as businesses. So everyone uh, now knows, you know, how to mm. navigate, you know, those challenges. And, uh, and everyone has become more aggressive than ever before, right? Uh, and that's what uh, we will see uh, you know, in terms of multiplying, multiplied challenges from the rest of the world. So each country will you know, focus on tourism. Uh, but, you know, as I said, 2.3 million is the highest you know, we've had into uh, 2018. All we you know, need is 20% more to be able to you know, try and hit 6 billion to 7 billion during uh, the year uh, 2022 mm -hmm. and it is doable yeah but exactly like the fertilizer issue where you said uh, communication you know was the, the the biggest issue right intention was very good but uh, the common man on the state yeah. did not understand uh, you know how is going to uh, you know elevate uh, their their lives. you know their lives right so that's where the issue was i mean if they had a plan to you know have effective communication get the people to really understand uh, how it's going to help them you yeah, know yeah, not yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. the the government not uh, you know anyone else it's for their own good right and that communication you know uh, didn't happen the way that it should have happened True. so in the absence of that uh, 
you know, it's not to talk about politics, but the opposition capitalized. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right? Of course they capitalized course. and then, uh, you know, they, they highlighted all the negatives, you know, attached to it. Um, and, you know, it created the, the, you know, kind of environment that, uh, you know, we are in today. Yes. Uh, so, tourism also, the same thing happened in 2020 and in 2021 as well, right? Many times, you know, we, we as a country, uh, the, you know, together with uh, the tourism stakeholders, wanted to open up the country, mm. you know, mm. with certain controls, yes. you know, uh, measures, in place, right measures in place, uh, measures in place. But uh, what did uh, the opposition do? What did you know some of the uh, you know people uh, do? They all went against it, right? So obviously, if we had a choice where we could have done without tourism, it would have been all good. But we know, given the numbers, you know, size of the uh, tourism industry, the value of the tourism industry, that we can't be without yeah, tourism, yeah, yeah. right? So it's all about balancing. It's not about you know uh, taking a safe decision. It's about taking the right decision, uh, a forward-looking decision. Uh, so today uh, we have uh, you know certain good things happening. We see the numbers you know improving, but we got to be certainly you know more aggressive.